may come in. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, oh, please. You need to tell us about yourself something to all of us. Yes. Um, I'm Hadija Tahir. I basically belong to Sialkot. As far as my familiar background is concerned, we are a small family of four people. We are two sisters and I'm the younger one. My father is a doctor. My sister is a doctor. My mother is a housewife and I am a mechanical engineer by profession. I graduated in 2018. And since that time, I've been working in a government organization as a mechanical engineer. And this was my second attempt. In the first attempt, I did not score very well to get allocated. That's all? Yes, sir. So you want to join federal services? Yes, sir. This is your plan? That's why you are here? Yes, sir. Okay, tell us something about Pakistan. Uh, sir, Pakistan basically is a country which was formed carved out of the subcontinent in 1947 to provide its state for the Muslims of the subcontinent. And Pakistan has been in existence for over 17, 70 years now. Unfortunately, we have not progressed very well as a country. And there are some flaws in the institutions, in the political economic systems, which we as a nation need to work on. What is the population of Pakistan? That is around 220 million. So what is the area of Pakistan? Sir, if I may make a guess, it's around 796095 kilometers square. What is the fundamental and supreme law of the land? Sir, it's an Islamic Republic as per law. Article 2 of the Constitution. Constitution. Okay, Khatija, you tell me, how do you view structure of Pakistani society. Tell us something about the structure. Uh, sir, in Pakistani society, as per my observation, there is a political ruling class, then there is a middle class, which majority of them are educated and working. And then there is a class, huge class, which is poor and living below the poverty line. So that would be a macro level structure for me of the Pakistani society. Okay, you have done sociology. Yes, sir. Identify five major social issues which you see in Sial Court or in Pakistan. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, first of all, there would there is poverty, then there is unemployment. Then we have a lot of deviance in the society, for example, theft rate. And uh, sir, fourth would be our, there is gender discrimination, which we need to work on. And sir, fifth is a bit lack of law and order in the country. Welcome to CSP's Academy for CSS PMS preparation. CSS PMS तहरीरी इम्तिहान के तमाम मजामीन की ऑनलाइन और ऑन कैंपस तैयारी के साथ साथ सब्जेक्ट सिलेक्शन असाइनमेंट चेकिंग क्लास टेस्ट मॉक एग्जाम इंडिविजुअल टीचर डिस्कशन और फीडबैक सेशन का इनका किया जाएगा इसके अलावा एफ पी एस सी की तजवीज करदा बुक्स से बने मैारी नोट और सी एस पी पब्लिशर की बेहतरीन बुक्स मुहैया की जाएंगी रजिस्टर नाउ एफ जीरो थ्री वन सिक्स can you tell me how do you view the state of economy at the moment economy of the country is going through a difficult period we have twin deficits current account deficit and the fiscal fiscal deficit and there is a lot of debt which the country needs to pay our rupee is depreciating at a very fast rate and we are facing a huge inflation as a nation. How do you see the future of social media on politics? Sir, social, the influence of the social media on politics is increasing in my view. Uh, sir, there is a lot of growing trend of accountability and it has strengthened the civil society as well, which we saw in the Noor Makaddam case or the motorway incident. Uh, so social media is also a platform to generate public opinion by the political parties and get people on their bandwagons. What role computer is playing in your life? Tell us something. Sir, computer. 
So computer was the first platform on which I drove cars, which I love. Secondly, computer was a medium on which we watched movies and we then interacted with my friends as well through social media platforms. And so recently, computer has been a great help and a great source for the preparation of civil services exam. Thank you. Abs. What are bureaucratic rigmaroles? Sorry, sir. Please. Bureaucratic rigmaroles. Sir, I don't have any idea about it. Why are bureaucrats? They get bogged down. Yes, sir. Too much emphasis, importance is given to rules and regulations, their application. Yes, you see, as uh, which undermine public interest, which is not in public interest because that delays the uh, dispensation of work and dispensation of justice. This is what I'm trying to ask you. Why they get? Uh, so it is basically to actually uh, note down everything for transparency and accountability. And then again, we have a lot of processes and procedures, a lot of paperwork extra paperwork which could be avoided. How do you see the role of Qaeda Azam in the struggle for Pakistan? The role of Qaeda Azam was very important right from the Lucknow Pact in 1960, 16, till the emergence of, emergence of Pakistan, Qaeda Azam played a very important part. And Qaeda Azam was actually one of the main leaders who later uh, uh, may, made the Muslims realize that they had to stand for a separate state and they should uh, uh, not go for uh, joint electorates in India and they should go for a separate homeland instead. That's all? Yes, sir. What is sixth extinction about? Sixth extinction? Sorry, sir. I don't have any idea about it. This is related to uh, global warming, climate change ecological changes that have started taking place in the globe and how they'll affect the the globe at large. What are rainforests? Uh, so rainforests are area of uh, lands, for example, the Amazon uh, forest, and these tend to absorb the extra carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and uh, they're called the carbon sinks, natural carbon sinks. But right now, they're also involved in emitting... Can you name some of the rainforests, famous rainforests of, of the world? Sir, uh, one is in Amazon and then there, there's one in Brazil. Hmm? Uh, there's one in Brazil. Join CSPs, where we believe that your dreams are our mission. So let us be your partners in this transformative journey as we equip you with knowledge, confidence and resilience required to emerge as CSS stoppers. Contact us on our given WhatsApp number 0316-570-1593 or visit our website www.csps.com.pk Can you name, PSP is your second choice, can you name uh, a few police stations of uh, Sialkot? Sir, a few, sir, I can name locality wise, uh, there is one on the Kashmir road, there is one on defense road, uh, then there's one in uh, Puranagar and there's one in cantonment area. How do you view the uh, performance of police? Uh, sir, in recent times, I've seen that police is active, actively involved in interacting with the public as well. We have seen the social media accounts, especially in Islamabad, whenever there's a sit-in, or there is a diversion, we see that they communicate to the people alternative uh, routes, which is a very good step. And it creates a trust level between the police service and the people. Uh, Khadija Tahir, recently there was a bomb blast in police lines in Peshawar. Yes, How do you look at that? Uh, Ma'am, for me, it is a resurgence, Is it is an event which manifests the resurgence of terrorism in the country and it has a very huge impact not only for the institutions but also for the public. For the institutions, it is a wake-up call 
that even the law enforcement agencies are not safe from terrorists and for the people it it leads to scare in the society as a whole where people think that when the law enforcement agencies are not safe from terrorists who will protect them in the society from the militant agencies or oh, how do you define terrorism let's put it that ma'am terrorism for me is indulging any indulging in any activity uh, which leads to mass destruction both in human life and uh, for the infrastructure and it is an act which transgresses the limits prescribed by the constitution and by the penal codes of the country uh do you know anything about hybrid warfare yes ma'am uh ma'am hybrid warfare is the latest trend in the country it is kind of a war in which combat forces are not directly involved rather the war is conducted through social media platforms and through avenues like public opinion is man manipulated through various uh, avenues for example facebook twitter etc in your earlier response you spoke of uh, one of major problems of pakistan as gender discrimination yes, you have done gender studies yes, could you define what is a gender discrimination uh, ma'am gender discrimination is basically a phenomena where both the genders are not given equal opportunities in the society and there exists a prejudice for one gender or the other thank you very much honey yes, sir uh since so, uh, you read political science yes sir aristotle classified different forms of government yes sir can you tell me please what he says when uh polity polity perverts what kind of states emerges or government what kinds of government emerges sir is it democracy why there was a hatred towards the democracy in polit plato's political philosophy as well as of aristotle's sir both of them think that a common man is not suitable to rule the country a country should be ruled by the learned class who are well aware of the basic principles hmm. okay, can you tell me uh, how aristotle's political philosophy contributed toward the development of constitution of pakistan sir aristotle's political philosophy sir aristotle basically worked on a number of constitutions he read i guess more than 50 constitutions and then laid the groundwork how the constitution is to be developed so sir it provided a basic structure and for the constitutional development of pakistan give your career a boost with css pms preparation from civil services preparatory school join css pms for on campus and online classes join us for your bright future civil services preparatory school jitan markaz islamabad register now at 0316 570 1593
So was it at the end of the 19th century? That's when you're right. Okay, tell, when for the first time the United States of America breached the policy of isolationism? Well, that was um, in the war which occurred between um, France <coughs> and Britain. When policy of isolation, which doctrine basically laid down the policy of isolationism for US? So the first one was in 1863, April 1863, in which uh, Washington declared that uh, United States of America had to stay neutral. And second was the Monroe Doctrine. Yes. Okay, well, Al Biruni wrote a treatise on culture of India. That is a very famous, in the form of a very famous book. In Indian history, can you name the book? Sorry, sir, I don't have any idea about it. The Kabul Hen, the history of India. Okay, my question is now from Pakistan studies. Okay. When Gandhi Irwin Pact concluded? So that was in 1916. 19, Gandhi Irwin Pact. No, no, sorry, sir. Sir, that was in 1930s. Right. What concluded? So Gandhi Irwin Beck was basically after the civil disobedience movement which was started by Gandhi during the round table conferences and it said that uh, political leaders of India won't be arrested so that Gandhi could participate in the second round table conference. My last question is what was August offer? So August offer, sorry sir. Okay. Let's conclude it. Let's have informal discussion. Yes, sir. If you have got question, you can ask, and we want to. We would like to give you some feedback. Pehle sawal puchoge ya ham feedback mein. Sir, pehle ap feedback de den please. Match, that's good. So you need to improve your introduction. One page likho. Yes, sir. ठीक है लिख के पहले अपने बारे में लिखो दस सफ़े. Cut, cut के फिर एक पेज कर लो. फिर एक मिनट में deliver करो. Then you will set the, your pitch with the commission. Okay, sir. Take a pir pata lagega ke what you are telling them and how they should respond. Sir, and how many aspects should I cover? Sir, should anything. I? Sir, anything. Sir, anything. Apne aap ko halate jang me leo. Now this is a challenge which you need to accept. Accept kar chuki ho, lekin tiyari nahi kar rahi. You are going to a वो कहते हैं ना हाँ जंग में जा रही हो जरा बक्तर तो पहनो ना जो हाथ में तलवार जरा बक्तर को इधर से लाए इधर से मतलब you have to face newspaper reading करो पुराने तीन महीने के अखबार निकालो dawn or news national news international news national social issues economic issues ये सारे एक दफा review करो I hope you are preparing a notebook something like this ठीक है ना अब एग्जाम तुम्हारा सोचने वाला नहीं है प्रॉम्प्ट है यू नीड टू हैव पॉइंट्स यहाँ लिखो इकोनॉमी ऑफ पाकिस्तान वन टू थ्री पॉइंट बस कोई सवाल करे तो उन पर रिस्पॉन्ड करो एनर्जी क्राइसिस रिस्पॉन्ड करो सी पैक रिस्पॉन्ड करो यूएस चाइना रिस्पॉन्ड करो यूएस पाकिस्तान रिस्पॉन्ड करो यू इंडिया रिस्पॉन्स करो चाइना इंडिया रिस्पॉन्ड करो यू सी दिस इज हाउ नाउ यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर यूर और ये है कि तुम यूं करो तुम अपने टॉपिक्स आइडेंटिफाई करो और डिस्कस विद योर फैमिली मेंबर्स ठीक है ना सोशल स्ट्रक्चर में फैमिली इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पाकिस्तानी सोसाइटी में तो कलेक्ट योर फैमिली पढ़े लिखे लोग हैं उनको कहो जी और लेट्स डिस्कस एनर्जी क्राइसिस ऑफ पाकिस्तान या लेट्स रोज वो लोड शेडिंग होती है वो जाए तो घूमो ना टेल दैम लिसन टू दैम टॉक टू दैम जोर जोर से बोलोगी तो तुम्हारे दिमाग खुलेगा तो हम ये फील करते हैं नॉलेज गैप है मेरा ये ख्याल है वो तो मैं ये जब हम असेस कर रहे हैं तो वो भी असेस करेंगे तो यू नीड टू इम्प्रूव योर पर्सनैलिटी इज एक्सलेंट नो वरी इंटेलिजेंट हो तुम कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स तुम्हारे बिल्कुल ठीक है यू आर सॉफ्ट स्पोकन बॉडी लैंग्वेज और लैंग्वेज सेटिंग पोस्टर फाइन ये जो है ना इट इज़ पंजाब के कॉम्पिटिशन में यू नीड टू डू मोर um khadija uh, you have a very nice personality uh, we are here to guide you not to criticize you so whatever points we are giving to you is to assist you for a better performance in your actual interview yes ma'am uh you nicely dressed uh knowledge gap hai you have to fill it up and uh practice all these questions are asked 
go on to YouTube also, see all the questions that are asked and practice in front of mirror uh -huh. uh, that you look more proactive and more hands-on. It seems that you have just come because you've been asked to come, but not really into that competitive uh, spirit. So uh, in, the, in this form, whatever you write, you will be judged on that. You should know everything about that. Uh, so my recommendation would be reduce your favorite personality okay. and write the personality that you think is reflective of your aspirations. Okay. And then you should know everything about that personality. You know, uh, Ms. Mamusarad, activist against acid throw, this, that and the other. But Ms. Ba later on had a lot of scandals to her also. Why to have a person who has so many scandals attached to her? Because then it, it's reflective of you, as I said. Yes, ma'am. So avoid that. Okay. You know, uh, put in personality that you can defend. Similarly, uh, the other things uh, that you have written here, for example, the book, we didn't ask you many questions. Somebody can ask you, what is the origin of the word funda fundamentalism? And there's a whole history to it. Here, it's a reluctant fundamentalist. But fundamentalism is a concept that has evolved over centuries. Does Islam, uh, you know, is it applicable to Islam? So many questions can come. Uh, focus. When you prepare the form, be focused. And your responses, you seem to have knowledge. But at this moment, it's like a scatterbrain. Yes, ma'am. Organize your thoughts. Okay, ma'am. And you'll do a great job. I'm confident that you will perform well. A little bit of tweaking is required. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Wish you all the best. Yeah, your knowledge gap is due to which you tend to lose confidence also. So you have good personality or you have to improve knowledge. Basic, solid argument. I see you have the potential to perform better. Wish you all the best. Thank you, sir. You have the options to carry out the elective. You have the options to get the answers. But you have to do the part of the interview. You have to do the This is one part. Thank you. Interview to have both overall assessment. You know that you answer very difficult questions on their sides, your options. But I would suggest again that they say, Abhi, so sorry, Bab Sipu, Abko Batare, to do a Paleoara interview, whose part could be up for us to focus carrying up now services can infrastructures go deki, up new books, personalities, on Sukko be steady carrying. 80% interview aapka isi format pe hoga. You aap de lik ke denge. They will verify. They will verify each thing what you have written on the paper. 20% akhbar ka hoga jo mene ma aapko pata de. This is the nutshell. Best of luck. Prepare yourself. Thank you so much sir. Best of luck. Tiyari karo. 